Hypothetically, how would one get into your aunt's tomb? I suppose you would have to die. Oh, crud. <laughs> Tell me that whole ring story again. My dead great aunt's fiance stole the diamond and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the engagement band until the day she died, and she remains buried in the Kutsu family crypt, dead of a broken heart. Yay. How can I get out to Skull Island? Well, there used to be a regular ferry out to Skull Island. Used to? Ah, one cold night, so the tale goes. The Welshman set out in his dinghy. The deep All right, fog Jason. around Skull Isle obscured even the moon. But the Welshman could see the distant light of the Blood Island lighthouse. When he'd rode half the distance, the light in the lighthouse was mysteriously smashed. And the poor Welshman was lost, almost never to be seen again. Uh, almost? Well, there are those who say that late at night, if you stare into the fog long enough, you may see the flying Welshman rowing in his ghostly dinghy, lost for all eternity. Creepy. How's business? How's business? Oh, I need another drink. <laughs> Not good, I take it. Just look around. No guests, no food, no entertainment. Not even the cannibals will come here. My only regular is a spooky old fortune teller who gives everyone the creeps. Uh, uh, no offense, Madam Zima. A pax on your firstborn. Hmm, yes, right. <laughs> Dingy. <laughs> Why don't you try to liven the place up a little? Well, that's quite a story. Years ago, this hotel was one of the hottest destinations in the Caribbean. People came from around the globe to see our world-famous dinner show. You may have noticed the oddly shaped barbecue out on the patio. Yes, I did notice that. Well, that barbecue was the centerpiece of our nightly entertainment. Isn't a barbecue the central attraction of most sophisticated nightlife activities? Maybe, but no one else had a barbecue like this one. Every night the guests would gather round on the patio, and at precisely six o'clock. Thirteen two, and third Final Fantasy thirteen. Huh, the bad ones. I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> that's definitely uh, not going to be fun to play. You'd break out the charcoal lighter fluid? No. Do you want to hear the story or not? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm fascinated. Please go on. Well, every night at precisely six o'clock, the volcano would erupt, and the lava would flow down the side of the mountain and into the special trough that runs beneath the barbecue. The guests <laughs> absolutely loved it. Isn't that some kind of fire hazard? Well, we'd get a case of severe third-degree burns every ah, day. Ah, you're a League of Legends but person, Jason. That that's a game I'd rather that get flogged than play. <laughs> but that's just me. The volcano just inexplicably stopped erupting. Well, League of Legends is like cancer to me. The resort just lost its appeal. And it's same with Dota. Ever since. And the volcano hasn't erupted to this day. Tragic. If I play League, Dota, or Heroes of New Earth, I'll probably, my, my skin will just melt off my body, and I'll end up dying. <laughs> uh. But yeah, see you later, Jason. Have a good, uh... The community is cancer to you? Yeah, I can imagine that. I've seen the League of Legends community. It's quite nasty. Maybe if you tried a more aggressive marketing scheme. I've tried everything. Pamphlets, stickers, extensive print campaigns. I even tried passing out vials of my own blood imprinted with the slogan, My parents went to Blood Island, and all I got was this lousy plasma sample. That's just gross. Well, with the benefit of hindsight, I suppose it is. Yeah. 
Well, maybe if you booked some more entertainers. I booked a juggling act here a while back, but that didn't work out. Rather Counter CSing. The guy kept talking about suffering, but his art and all that. The guests hated him. They actually cheered when he burst into flame during his firewalking act. Maybe if you focused on Blood Island's rich history. What history? The island has a windmill and a lighthouse. There's not a whole lot to see. <laughs> Maybe you should get out of the hotel business. Good soups have always been in hotel management. I've got to do my part to keep the dream alive. Booking rooms and mixing drinks. That's stirring. Excuse me, stirring drinks. <laughs> no, I meant... Never mind. H1Z1. What happened to all the guests? After the place started to run down, they all checked out. All except for one. The guest that never left. Is this going to be scary? Because I warn you. Every night we heard strange noises coming from his room. Frightful crashing sounds that shook the entire hotel. Each followed by the most horrible screaming and cursing. Then one night the sounds just stopped but were replaced with a terrifying wailing and moaning. I had the room sealed and vowed never to enter that hateful place again. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. I'm gonna save my money for Grim Fandango, the remaster. And then Day of the Tentacle and Resident Evil HD, I have to get that remaster. Would you let me into the guest room upstairs? No. It is locked for a reason. Let no man disturb the dark spirits who occupy that room. Oh yeah, GTA 5, I have to get that too. Eh, that's a shame. Sorry I brought it up. <laughs> killing Floor. Eh. I'm not a fan of Killing Floor, sadly. This place sure is dead. Tell me about it. No guests, no food, no entertainment. If I weren't so insanely wealthy, I might get worried. Eh, that's a shame. Sorry I brought it up. Let's see, I got that one, got that one, that one, that one. Alright, drink. That game will be the shit. <laughs> I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Hmm. Give me a big fruity drink with an umbrella in it. Give me a big <laughs> fruity drink with an umbrella in it. Good choice. It's a delicious taste of the islands. Made with lemon, grapefruit, and ground beef. Hey, don't I get one of those decorative umbrellas to go on my tropical drink? Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. I do have this one. Decorative umbrella, GG. You prefer Arkham Asylum? So do I. Arkham Asylum is my favorite. <laughs> that jars for my tips. Put it back. <laughs> but I was going to put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm going to have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Can't believe anything. There, I poked holes in it. Let's see if I can get up here. I can't jimmy the door lock with that. <laughs> now that I have a hammer, let us smash this. Whoops.
Baron C. Lambert Chowdergoodsu, pioneer of crouton technology. He looks a lot like the guy at the bar. <laughs> I wonder if I can combine these shit. <laughs> no. 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 Sorry, but no. Wait, what's this? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Let us see. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's go to Volcano. You got it, goatee on Steam. That's cool. <laughs> Remember, um, idiot lemon bastard said um, uh, that that um, Sherman was lactose intolerant. I'll just walk over here so he won't see me put this on. I play Smash. I used to Ish. back in the N64 days. I don't have it for Wii or for Wii U. I don't even have a Wii U. Finally, you're here. Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis. Accept this sacrifice we make unto you. In the sh with high amounts of fiber and wholesome cellulose. Free of all fat and trans fatty acids, so that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village, and not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera. Okay, boys, toss him in. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you and good night. Thank you and good night. You feed the volcano mannequins made from vegetables? Yes, we do. Sherman isn't a strict vegetarian, but fatty foods can cause him severe indigestion. Yeah. I hate that they uh, delayed... I hate that they li delayed Grand Theft Auto V for PC. That pisses me off, Royal. Bubbly. <laughs> oh, the pun's too much awesome. Well, I'm glad some people are enjoying this game. Cheese time! You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery! Run for your lives! <laughs> was more spectacular than I'd hoped. I'm not going back up there. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's so beautiful. <laughs> Lackluster explosion. <laughs> Liquid hot magma. That melted cheese looks just like yellow tar. I guess I'll just drag this down to Haggis now. Here, Haggis. <laughs> This stuff should work to patch up the ship. Aye, laddie, indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So.